Chrissy Mail. I just moved back to the area I grew up in Bow and find myself back here wanting to explore the mountains and the trails that I grew up looking at. I've spent a lot of time all over the world running in pretty magnificent places and I think it's pretty special that I still want to come back here and call this home. Uh, my name is Amelia Bethke and I grew up here. I was born in Bellingham and um, I started running here when I was in grade school and I, if, I've never gotten tired of the trails here. It, we were just talking earlier as we were running over here about how it seems like this area, like you can always find new trails to run. Even if they're just like short little connections between things that you already knew. I feel like I found Blanchard trails as a result of being a trail runner. The chuck nuts are what first drew me into ultra running and trail running. And my first ultra was on, um, was at the chuck nut 50K. So Blanchard was a, hey, there's more, go, go check this out. And just recently getting to do the connection of those two uh, makes the area make a lot of sense and uh, find myself wanting to do it more so I make sure I know it and not have to follow little arrows to get, <laughs> make it happen. Yeah. It was only, I think, you know, a couple years ago that I really investigated like the whole system up there and realizing that you can connect the Oyster Dome look out to William Lizard Lakes and, you know, the options. I felt really lucky to have Amelia because she had <laughs> run the route the day before or biked the route the day before and marked it so I kind of got to follow along and take in the view and not worry about if I was going to get lost or, but it was super well marked and she knew the way and I honestly kept thinking I was going to turn around. Like I knew myself, I knew the route up until the British Army Trail, and I could get myself back and be okay. I think I told everybody that I'm turning around. <laughs> but the further we got into it, the prettier it got, and the more excited she got about sharing how this all came together. There was, I think it was right as we got off the British Army Trail. I was like, ah, whatever. I'm just going to go for it. I'll figure out how to get back later. And I'm really glad I did. Uh, it was really fun, kind of showing you. I always get really excited like showing people new trails and new routes, like being guy, like, <laughs> um, but also the perspective of us having biked it the day before and then doing it on foot and being like, yeah, I don't have to like get off every 10 feet to like roll my bike over this big route, like you just hop over it. And, Two feet are a little easier than two wheels and two feet. Yeah. <laughs> I love those trails that connect between Lily and Lizard Lake. I feel like there's some really runnable sections and you're up high at that point. You've, you've earned it because you've had to gain the, the elevation to get up there and then it's super cruisy and beautiful back in there. Um, I was just thinking as you were talking about what the trails would be like, it would have been a completely different experience. Um, there's something to be said for having perspective and knowing where you're going, coming from Colorado and you can get up above the tree line. Mm -hmm. But that's what this area is. It is being in the trees and the experience of the hundreds of different shades of green and pulling out, seeing things, seeing almost like little gnomes running around in the trees because it's so magical in a way with the way the mosses grow and everything. So it would really change the experience if some of those spots that you kind of landmark up there and are so well known. So I'm glad to hear that they're working to protect that area, at least that area, and then really get behind the idea of how do we work together with the logging companies to make sure that experience doesn't get totally mashed because all the trees have been taken out. Like looking out over north, uh, the North Butte and if that ridge line that you look at was logged or the Chuckanut Ridgeline a little bit further out, like it just looked raped, I guess. And, uh, 